Oh, uh, farewell. A sudden visit? Um, weren't you here a couple days ago? <laughs> I'm assuming it's the little sister. But she like she just said in her letter that she couldn't <laughs> she couldn't visit with mom who was like just here. Oh well. I'm back. I know I didn't give you any warning again, but like that's cool, right? We'll have fun just like last time. Oh, and I'm gonna need a tour of the whole farm again so I can check on everything for mom and dad. Okay, mom was like just here like two seconds ago. Lynn came to visit again and will only be for a few days, but I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun. Not that I mind her being here, it's just kind of weird. It probably just uh, has to do with like when you complete farming tips. I'm assuming that's what kind of sets off the chain of events for uh, her and your mom to come visit, so. All right, let's check this out. We have it in a while. Uh, we and Ford are both at five hearts. Desi's at one and a half, which is interesting. Uh, Izuki at two and a half and Hinata at three. I think that's where they were before. Uh, Nari's still at one and Ludus is at five. So I don't think we had too much change there. We have the Harvest Festival coming up along with some other festival that I forget what it is. So I'm gonna check that real quick. All right, Harvest Festival's on the 30th and the Pumpkin Jamboree is on the 31st. So you're supposed to give like pudding or pumpkin pudding to kids, I guess. All right, well my buffalo cheese is done. So I'm gonna see how much this sells for because I've heard good things. All right, so one piece of buffalo cheese at one star is almost 600, so that is pretty great, actually. I imagine that once you get it to like five stars, that's gonna be selling for quite a lot, so that is a good way to make money. I have been using omelets uh, as my preferred way. I've kind of upgraded from pudding because they're a little bit better, as I've said before, so that's how I've been getting a little bit more money, as you can see, I have like 80,000. So, we're, we're working on it. We're working on getting that, that money. Okay, so if you remember from last episode, we're trying to get rid of the lock on Lulu Coco. And in order to do that, we need to ship some ore, do some part-time jobs, and talk to Totara. For the ore, I kind of want to see if I can upgrade anything before I start selling that. Uh, people in the comments did say that you can buy scrap ore or you can just sell it if you want. That does count. So it doesn't matter if you actually mine the ore or if you buy it. It doesn't matter. It still counts towards the, uh, the total there. So I could improve the effectiveness of the watering can or I could improve the effectiveness of the hammer. Well, since we're almost into winter, I think what I'm going to do is improve the effectiveness of the hammer because I don't think I'll have as many crops to water in the winter because I don't think there are that many that can grow in winter. I could be wrong, but winter is usually a pretty like uh, relaxed season in these kinds of games. So I'm going to focus on my hammer. The hammer is now maxed out in effectiveness, which is pretty great. Wow, five by five would be nice, but uh, it's gonna take quite a lot of stuff. Could improve the effectiveness of that, which you might wanna do. Or the sickle. Hmm. I think I'll do this one. And is there anything else? I mean, I can just, I can buy some of these gems now, so. If I don't get them for a while and I really want to upgrade something, it's not a huge deal. Like, I only need two rubies. I have a ton of amethyst, somehow. Uh, I only need two rubies for uh, the milker. I might do that then. I kind of want to start upgrading the brush and milker now that we have two animals. Like, now that we have the cow and the buffalo. So, I'm going to be looking at doing that pretty soon. I am really happy with our upgrades so far, though. 
So I'll have to check my storage box and see what I can what I can afford to sell. I think I have some extra sand rows and you don't need a ton of them for upgrading, so I might sell some of those. Ooh, we have a mystery job today, which is pretty awesome. And Ludus wants um wants us to deliver some stuff for him, so I'll pick up those jobs to get the Lulu Coco ones done. All right, so let's do this mystery job. I hope I don't get a repeat, because there's one more outfit that I can get, at least that I know of. So, I think it's different. It's a lot of apples on the ground. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm hoping that I don't get like a repeat outfit. I don't even know if that's possible, but. All right, come on. Who dropped this many apples on the ground? I ask you. Most impressive, you work fast. Many thanks. Mind if I take the fruit you gathered? Dang it. That is a huge apple. Ooh, I got a thousand for that. Awesome. Toad's outfit. Awesome. The last one. I must say, you really got me out of a tight spot. No wonder I've been hearing rumors of a legendary farmer. We may never meet again, but I'll be cheering you on from the shadows. Farewell. That was a little bit ominous. But yes, we got the last outfit, which is very exciting. We're going to have to try it out then. But first, I almost forgot. I wanted to... I always, like, do that. But first, I wanted to... Wait, do you have any new clothes? I haven't checked in a while. Now that I think about it. Oh, you have sunglasses. That's... Okay. That's it. All right. <laughs> um, I wanted to make some new fields. So, soft field. Okay. How many can I make? Four. Because I need more sparkly fertilizer. Yeah. So I'll have to buy some of that. Because I want to put the trees in there. If I can, I'm going to try to do that. So I'm going to start growing trees. All right, what new stuff did you get? A liquid fertilizer tank. I'm sorry, what? Put fertilizer and other ingredients here to create liquid fertilizer. Why? What's the difference? I mean, you know, besides consistency. You got a nice little garden bench. Lattice gate. Creepy scarecrows. Fountain. This like some horsey to- Oh my gosh. Just a bunch of horse heads on a stick. I mean, I know it's supposed to look like a toy, but it just looks horrible. <laughs> Movie set down. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Cowboy statue. Uh, is that it? No, we still have- wow. I guess I- I guess I unlocked several things. Balloon art. <laughs> there is a thing happening! That's weird, I'm suddenly feeling really lethargic and dizzy too. Oh, did someone shoot me with a poison dart? In comes the doctor to save the day. Ah, Kita, it's good to see you doing well. Or not. What's wrong? Your complexion is quite pale. Why, you look ready to collapse at any moment. Yeah, I got the angry spaghettis. Oh, uh, farewell. <laughs> good night, sweet prince. I'm still wearing my crown. <laughs> wow. Are you with me now? Oh, I'm with you. Don't you remember? You collapsed in the middle of the street. 
Really now, a mature adult like yourself ought to know how to look after your own physical condition. It seems I overestimated your ability and sense. <laughs> Maybe I just wanted you to look over my physical condition. Exhaustion can easily build up if one is not paying proper attention. Working to the point of collapse is not something to be proud of. If you should overwork yourself and wind up in the hospital, what then? What will happen to your farm, your animals, your crops? Yours is a profession which relies upon your health and vitality. Thus, it is imperative that you monitor these more carefully. You really should have known better. Next time, think before you act. No, I apologize. As a doctor, I should be delivering care to a patient, not a lecture. Just to make myself clear, I did not intend that as an attack on you. On the contrary, your diligence and enthusiasm in managing your farm is worthy of admiration. Looking at even a single piece of produce you have grown, it's easy to see the dedication and care with which it was raised. Anyone would be struck by the picture you make, living and working with such passion and joy amidst nature. That's why seeing you collapse like that was so... Anyway, I digress. My point is that you pushed yourself beyond reasonable limits and ought to step back and take a break for now. Consider that not orders from your doctor, but advice from a friend. Just rest for now, your body needs it. Oh, don't worry about a fee. I still owe you a favor from the day you cooked dinner for me, after all. Now if you'll excuse me, I have other duties requiring my attention, so I must step out for a bit. You lie here and rest for a little longer. What's wrong, having trouble falling asleep? Hmm, I wonder why. Perhaps because you are in a strange bed and not your own? Well, is there anything you wish of me? I shall do my best to accommodate you. Could you please hold my hand? <laughs> hold your hand? Why? Although I suppose you do have a point, human warmth is known to have a soothing effect on people. In fact, several medical texts recommend holding a child's hand to help them fall asleep. I suppose that principle applies here, too. Very well, then. Until you fall asleep, I will stay and hold your hand. Now, enough talk. Close your eyes. Don't worry. All will be well. Out like a light. Come to think of it. What small hands. Yet, it is these hands that manage the difficult burden of raising and nurturing life, all by themselves. Stereotype declares women to be frail and weak, but I see neither trait here. Judging a book by its cover is unwise indeed. No, no, no. What am I doing? Staring at a patient like that. D I should go and mix those medicines now. Yes, yes, that is exactly what I should do. Odd. Why is my pulse suddenly racing? Could I be... coming down with a cold? I ought to take my temperature just in case. Hmm. Well, that was cute, and I got my stamina back, so... heck yes for that. Oh, Ford. Oh, here we go. Wouldn't you want to date me? <laughs> Look at that outfit. Uh, heart boost. I'm not sure. Hold on. I'll double check what that does. Okay, so your stamina slowly regenerates with uh, this outfit. So that's not a bad buff. All right, let's see what gems I have that I can sell. All right, well, I have a good bit of scrap ore that I could probably just sell. Um, I have a lot of topaz as well. I think I'm going to sell few of those and I have some sand rose that I can sell so that'll be like the more expensive ones um, and then the rest I can just do uh, scrap ore all right so it looks like we got all the ore shipped and the jobs done so the only thing we have left to do is talk to Totatara and she is in here 
So I'm not sure where. Oh, there she is. Hey, what is up? The dirty kitchen? Could I ask you to take a look at this? It looks kind of dumpy. This old place is, well, was our communal kitchen. Everyone used to come here to cook back in the day, but slowly people stopped coming. Until we get to today, where the only ones you'll ever find in here are the spiders and dust bunnies. But our village has been getting more active lately, so Kalila came by to ask about fixing this old place back up again. Sounds good. If you want to make lots of food for a large group of people, a kitchen like this is obviously the way to go. Yeah, with a kitchen this big, we can make cakes for the whole village all at once. There you have it. All of us got together and decided to clean it up. But to do that, we'll need funding and materials. Alright. What, what do you need? Oh, well, at least I don't have to pay for this. Uh, okay. Ten lumber, ten small stone. Not a problem. I have that in, like, my back pocket. <laughs> so, we're good. So now I'll just have to, like, run back to her house. Wait, I have your stuff. So we can knock this one out. Oh, um, are you back here? Yes. Hey, I have your stuff. Here you go. If you would have just waited, I could have given them to you over there. All right. Ooh, the Coco is at a C rank. Yay. <gasps> cool. Okay. So, for farming tips, we need to get all of the towns to a B rank. And right now, West Town is at a B rank. And uh, Suyukuza and Lulukoko are both at C rank. So I think what we're going to do is start focusing on Suyukuza since we're already almost halfway there. So I'm going to switch my shipping box over to Suyukuza. And we can kind of start focusing on them for a while. Oh wow, we're going to do this already? That's kind of surprising. I was kind of expecting like a, an event with Lynn. <laughs> um, but I guess Totatara is like, you know, we got this stuff and we are making this kitchen right now because I'm hungry. That would be my guess. So let's go do that. I guess that's a place that we'll be able to like, I don't know if we can eat there after this is done, but people will probably at least like be around there. I would assume. And I think doing stuff like this increases your friendship with the villagers, I think. All right, scrub it down. Tototaro will just, you know, direct us. Well, that was quick. <laughs> That's cool, though. Good work, everyone. Mahalo. Our communal kitchen is back in business. Now anyone can come and use it whenever they like. Though I suspect the one who will be using it the most is myself. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sweet. Thanks to everyone's help, the communal kitchen has been restored. It's great to see it so clean. All right. Ooh. Fiscally fearsome. Ooh, I got a lot of money from all that yesterday. Which means... That's actually good for farming tips because uh, we have to ship 500,000. And yesterday we shipped 100,000, so we like... Shipped a fifth of what we needed to for that. So that that's not going to be too bad, I don't think. 
and hopefully we'll win the Harvest Festival so that we can increase our brand. I think that's tomorrow. And this one's going to take a little bit. Um, but yeah, we're working on it. Okay, so I want to see what new stuff Ludus has because he should have some new stuff since we just upgraded uh, Lulucoco. I can improve the effectiveness. I might want to do that for... Hmm. For that. Could also make the axe lighter. Or the hammer lighter. I think I'm going to do that. And then we only have like... Uh, one more thing. Well, besides, like, the range. But I don't know how important that is for the hammer. I guess it might be important. Um, I might want to do this, though. To set the area of effect. That'd probably be useful. Okay, I think that's I think that's all I can do for upgrades right now. Um, let's see. Do you have any new clothes? Yeah. Oh, wild farmer. Okay. That's cool. Oh, wow. Lots of stuff. Emerald sundress. Ornamental feather. That's cool. I wish there were other, like, flower clips, like, other colors. But, alright. So we got some new clothes. And there's probably new farm circles. Uh, oh, I need dry soil for that. I can make two more of these, though, while I'm here. Uh, okay. Let's just go to Lulu Coco because that's where they're all going to be unlocked anyway. Oh, I can make a hammock? That's cool. Stone arch, stone flower pot. Tropical umbrella. Cool. I would love to, like, deck out my farm, but... It would just take so many materials and would be... I mean, it wouldn't really be that expensive. It's just, like, the materials that I don't really want to use at this point. Anyway, let's check out the kitchen area since we fixed it up. Is it over here? Yeah. I can't actually use it, though. Just looks a little bit nicer. But that's all right. It looks like the general store has some new stuff too. Oh, okay, so they have uh, lychee seedling and orange. Also, cacao. We're gonna buy that. And we're gonna buy these. And, ooh, now you can buy the red, green, and blue quills if you need them. All right. We definitely wanna get um, cacao growing. Uh, I wanna start planting all those trees, actually. I just got to figure out where and set that up. But uh, anyway, I think that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Cheers, support really helps me out. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.